Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can share form access with room members in DocuSign. This is a fairly new feature in DocuSign, and this is beneficial to allow agents to share form access with other room members, such as maybe team members on the transaction, or if you have a, a licensed or non-licensed admin, it will allow that person to be able to add or edit forms on your behalf without requiring your DocuSign credentials. So very cool new feature here. Um, so this will allow, this will actually give that person either access to again add or edit forms in your DocuSign room. We'll be taking a look at how to do that for one room and also how you can set it up so that person has access to do so in all of your rooms that you have in DocuSign. All right, so first thing we need to do is we do need to have the DocuSign room created. Um, if you are not familiar with how to create a DocuSign room, you will want to create that from KW Command directly. I will include steps in the YouTube description on how to um, create a transaction in command with DocuSign in 20 minutes. So check that out if you're new to DocuSign. And also for any team member agents, okay, I will be uh, including a link on how to handle team transactions and add your team members to rooms. Um, so that will be in the description of the YouTube video. Okay, so this is building on that base knowledge. Um, so go ahead and open your DocuSign room that you want to practice on. And we are going to the People tab in your DocuSign room. So your People tab in your DocuSign room. All right, so team member agents, you should be able to add team members to your DocuSign room uh, from your actual command opportunity. And again, the video and the YouTube description here will walk you through that. I have seen that intermittently work, okay? So for any reason those team members aren't coming over or you now wanna go ahead and add them manually, this is how you would do so. All right, so from the People tab, we'll click on Invite on the top right. So people tab of your DocuSign room, I'm gonna click the blue invite button on the top right. Of course guys, feel free to pause the video so you can follow along. All right, here's the catch though. Instead of manually typing out their email address, right, because you'll do, when you do that, okay, it won't give you the correct room roles if you try to manually type out their information. So instead you need to search the internal address book. So if I click this little address book icon on the far right of the email field here, that will pull up an internal address book. This is our company directory. We'll want to use the search option at the top to search for whatever agent we are trying to add to your DocuSign room. Click the dot to the left of their name and click add selected. So not only are you bringing in the agent, you're bringing in the, the agent's role as well, okay, which will help the system. So we'll click Add Selected. Okay, and the agent role, I, I know I keep mentioning this, right? The room role, very important. They have to have an agent owner role uh, to give the option to share form access with someone. All right, so now that we have the email address, I see their information uh, pull in correctly. Now we just need to add the transaction side from the dropdown and click invite. So I see that other agent has been added, my team member, and I see the agent owner role here which is required. So and just a heads up, if any of the, if this agent were to add forms on my behalf or edit those forms, it would be noted that it was done so on behalf. So it's, it's uh, noted in the activity log that that's done by the certain person. Okay, so that is tracked who's doing this. So to finish giving them full room access to my forms, I need to click the three dots on the bottom right.
From there, we'll click Share Form Access. Now, once you do that, once you click the three dots and select Share Form Access, this is where you get the choice to either give them access to only this DocuSign room, only the forms in this DocuSign room, or do you want them to have access to all future rooms, all rooms in your DocuSign account? Yeah, that can really, really come in handy for if you have a transaction coordinator or an admin. And again, that would give them access to all of your rooms without your DocuSign login, which is really great. So but let's say in this case, I only want them to have access in this room. So I'll say only this room and click to save that. Okay, and I, I see that green bar there letting me know that that went into effect. All right, so again, I just wanted to say again that this gives them access to add forms to your DocuSign room and edit the forms. Okay, that doesn't give them the access to send the forms on your behalf. Okay, that would only be editing and adding forms to your DocuSign room so you would still have the final say before that goes out. And if they do make any changes to forms or add forms in the activity log, it'll say, you know, form added on behalf of. Um, so that is logged. So that is, um, they are accountable for the th items that they do still in the activity log. Um, just one last thing to note for you uh, is how to remove that access. So, you know, if you have a team member leave um, or for whatever reason you want to remove their access to um, your this room or all rooms, you can do that right from here. And you'll notice that this person has form access. I see that in green right here. So I can simply repeat the same steps, click the three dots, change form access to then change it to no access and click save. And that will take away their ability to add forms on my behalf and edit forms in this DocuSign room. Okay, if you guys have any questions on that, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com and we'd be more than happy to help you with this. I hope this helped and I hope you have a great rest of your day.